guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks very much for joining for another tasty review. Um, so if you like a kebab tonight, so I'm trying a place called uh, Flames Express in Keppock Hill Road. Um, it's got good reviews on Uber. Uh, so I went for a mixed kebab and a chicken pakora. Um, so in mixed kebab, sorry, I've got my notes here. So the mixed kebab comes with donor meat, lamb tikka, seek kebab, uh, chicken tikka and pakora sauce. I chose for that as well and I got obviously chicken pakora with pakora sauce. Um, so I've not had a look at it yet. I've got it out of the bag just to save a wee bit of time and uh, let's batter in and see how we're going. Um, so price for that, the kebab was $8.95 and the uh, pakora was coming in at $7.50. So $16.45 on. So let's see this as the kebab. You can tell by the way it's... Feels quite heavy, meaty. So let's have a swatch, just give me a wee grass first, a wee swatch of the There we go, so it's just came there. So, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, take out the peat and fire it on the, um, fire it on the plate. In fact, do you know what, I'm going to try the chicken pakora first. I'll try the chicken pakora first. Keep these waiting. Right, okay, so chicken pakora, so it's 7.50. So, we'll stick it out in the plate. In fact, I'll take that. Nah, stick it in the plate. But you saw a swatch. So, looks looks not bad at all. Looks decent pakora. Um, it doesn't look pure hard. A lot of places are sending it now, and it's like kind of hard on the edges and crispy. And, but that feels crispy on the edges, but the way it's meant to be, not like super over chewy. Okay, so get me sauce so because we're gonna try that. So first off we'll get me break the chicken, see how that goes. So don't know if you can see that. Broke really nice. Looks super moist inside. We'll try it with the sauce and then we'll get into the sauce. Hmm. It's alright, no blowing me away, but it's no bad, it's kind of a bit dry here and there. Let's see what the sauce does. No, of course, the sauce is quite thick. Oh, yeah, you're getting it super runny. See, it's not really dripping off, it looks slightly runny, but it's not. Decent amount there. I'm only doing this because I want to get the kebab on the plate. I'll show you that. Okay. So, main event time. So, I asked for no onions on it. Onions. <laughs> Just hate having to fish them out. It's a pain in the arse. Excuse my language. Right, so I'm gonna pop it out of this bad boy. Why I try all the meats separately? Oh, I'm just making an absolute mess of this. Uh, fork. Okay, so. Peter's nice and soft, it's gathered all the juices for all the meats and everything that was on it, so... Oh my god, this is, this is Mrs. Food Review's work desk. I'm gonna get battered. Right, okay. Right. So we're gonna get some of this onto the plate. So as I said, I want to try it. I like how the, the salad's mixed in with it. So the whole tin for come off, but hey, do you know what? It doesn't matter. No, it looks like a dog's dinner. But let's see how it goes. There's mushrooms in there, or Shroom. And a kebab. Right, okay. So as I said, there's uh, donor, donor meat in here. Uh, lamb tikka, seek kebab, and chicken tikka. So I want to find the... Uh, Right, okay, so we've got a bit of lamb here. So that's a lamb tikka. 
Please don't be tough. Mm. It's all got done. Maybe it was just that bit. We'll try and allow that. That bit was a wee bit better. But, you are not some dry lamb. Oh, I look messy table, man. <laughs> Sorry, my Facebook review. Um, okay, so this looks like the... Uh, Chicken tikka. So let's uh, let's just get it opened up and see how juicy it is. If it is juicy, aye. I don't know if you can see that, but mmm, that's nice and moist. Mushrooms again. Right, okay, so we've done the lamb, done the mushrooms, done the chicken tikka. Do you know what, there's a lot of meat in here. There's a lot of meat in here. But I want to find the Sikh. The Sikh kebab. Mushrooms, man. Can I find the Sikh? Right, let's try a bit of Dorna, mate, then. So, Dorna, mate. Pretty thick sliced. We'll see what the, the quality is like, so I can see the wee white bits in it, but... Mm. It's not bad. In fact, there's not that much. The wee white kind of fat bits, I don't know what it is, but... Generally, that's not the best kebab meat, what I've found, in my opinion. Um, right, so, Donner, Lamb Tikka, Sheik, and Chicken Tikka, so there should be four meats, so I've got one, Kebab Meat, two, Lamb, three, where is the, uh, the Sheik Kebab? Don't see no Sheik Kebab here, okay, so... I wonder about the chicken because that was delicious. Mmm, right. Get a wee bit going on the on the pita. Um slightly disappointed about the lack of I'm not putting the lamb in that. Well in fact, you know what? I'll put a bit of lamb in it. Uh, the lack of Sikh kebab. But you know what? It is disappointing actually, aye, because I was looking forward to that. It looks like a, I think it, it kind of looks like a kofta. Okay. I'll just about. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm. That's too good. Hey, as I said, upset about the the seat kebab. If anybody can see it, and I'm being stupid, <laughs> but we'll try a bit of salad on our right. Mmm, mmm, big chunk of cumin there or something. It's beautiful. Um, well, listen, guys, if you like this kind of content, smash the thumbs up button for me. If not subscribed, you might consider subscribing. Uh, as I said, any, as always, any comments or any suggestions, stick them in the comments for me. Um, so take care of yourselves and keep scamming, all right?